So we're going to start today's lecture um, with, with base pairs, with the nucleotides, and, uh, nucleic acids, excuse me. Uh, we've already covered in the previous uh, lecture uh, carbohydrates, proteins, uh, lipids, and we covered very, very briefly uh, nucleic acids. We also covered uh, the testing for carbohydrates, uh, proteins, lipids, etc., uh, including the Bendix reagent test and the reducing sugars test, as well as the starch test for iodines, the iodines test for starch, and the burette test for protein. Uh, now we're going to take a closer look at the nucleic acids, DNA and RNA specifically. This slide you might recognize. Uh, where we have DNA, which consists of a double helix of base pair of uh, base pairs, pairs of nitrogenous bases, bonded cytosine to guanine and adenine to thymine. We also have RNA, which exists as a single-stranded po uh, polynucleotide, which just has the sequence of uh, variable sequence consisting of cytosine, guanine, adenine, and uracil. Uracil is in lieu of thymine. You use uracil instead of thymine. The overall structure of a nucleic acid consists of a phosphate group, the phosphate group which has an overall negative charge. Your ribose, uh, this is a deoxyribose sugar right here because there is a lack of an oxygen right there. So this is a deoxyribose pentose sugar. And here we have the nitrogenous base, adenine. You do not need to memorize the individual structures of amino acids, uh, of not amino acids, excuse me, of nucleic acid nitrogenous bases. Um, but this one is adenine. You will recognize adenine and guanine by their double ring structure, and cytosine and thymine for DNA uh, by their single ring structure, and uh, cytosine and uracil for RNA by their single ring structure. Now. Pentose sugars, if you can spot the difference, deoxyribose does not have an oxygen. Ribose has an oxygen here on the two prime carbon. There is an oxygen, hydro.